Well, air conditioning that's a little bit bigger than a car, plus it's a heat pump. And this one over here is heat recovery. So these ones do heating and cooling simultaneously. They share energy and they swap energy from room to room. That's why they have three pipes coming out. These ones are set up as heat pumps only. So they only do heating or cooling, just like an electric car, no difference other than all your boards and everything are right here, not scattered throughout a whole entire card. Uh, we just had a problem where the power board was corrupt power and the power board actually made it look like the main control board tested bad it made it look like gave the same symptoms as bad and even in the literature for the diagnosing said replace the power board but i had a sneaking hunch of suspicion that my hunch was it was corrupt power to the power board making the board act up and sure enough, I proved it by scavenging it out of another unit and swapping in the power board made the main board work. But in their instructions, they say replace the board. And if you have the board on a system as a prerequisite to avoid any other problems, you replace them all because they have the capacitors in them. They have a liquid electrolyte in them. They age, everything ages with time. They all have the same runtime on them and you're at a place where just your service call to come out for one day is like $2,200 just to show up as a van roll. And the cost of replacing the boards is cheaper than another van, van roll. So you save the customer the aggravation of six months later, another board going down or a supply going, just replace them across the board. Uh, we're talking a high dollar, um, you know, cannabis production run and every day the lights are off weight is lost and you're talking this is controlling through five different rooms the veg and i think four flower rooms and each flower room is like 200 grand a flower room so just because one board goes down it loses the whole production on half they have a double redundant system but it's not enough in some occasions so replace them all and uh, so get another power board and keep another one in stock for myself. So in case of an emergency, I have one in stock. I was supposed to have one in stock. Um, having a problem with tech support, not tech support, their parts supplier. They got a new guy in parts supply. Everybody has this problem, automotive, any business. When a warehouse distributor fires or loses their parts supplier and they get a new guy, he doesn't know how to look up stuff. He doesn't know what stuff is. He's just going by numbers. And we had a really big problem ordering parts last time. It was driving and we kept having to reorder, reorder, reorder and getting wrong parts. And the guy just didn't know what we were talking about when we would give him board numbers. It was horrible. And now we have to go through this again. All right, guys, I'll see you. This uh, definitely, the worst part about this is not working on the equipment. It's dealing with the warehouse and the parts guys who are new and there's no senior guy. They lost their really good senior guy. We had, there was a guy who would give us our LG parts. We just tell him what it is and off the top of the head, oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. And it's like instant. And every time the parts are right, then something happened at that business. They got a new guy and things aren't good. That's all I got to say. See ya.